Spell class, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I I hear you're still sick, but you sound much much better now. Yeah, I went to the doctor today, and they uh, gave me some shots and and uh, some new medication, and I feel feeling a little bit better. Oh, good. You know when you said I went to the doctor, I'm okay. Finish the song. I went to the doctor. Guess what he told me? Get remember that song? No, not at all. Um, nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Oh, so that's Shanita Connor, that the woman who just died. Nah, no, no yeah, I'm, I'm a terrible singer, so but um, yeah, maybe <laughs> it's a very famous song. It's like. It's been seven hours and 15 days since you took nothing compares to you. No. Now this is how of the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a good song, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's Nidia. She's at work. Hi, teacher. Yes, and tonight I have to work on the same. Until 10, so you're off at 10? Yes, at 10, uh, 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So how are you? How are you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's a... It's hot. It was very hot today. It's just... I don't know. I, don't, I, I think I don't like working from home anymore. Why? Because of the weather? Yes. <laughs> and, you know, I use a fan, but then your electricity is much higher. <laughs> With a fan? Well, I use that like it's a, it's like a mini AC. Oh, fan. right. But, you know. So I was talking about that's that's good that Google is going to come to El Salvador. Huh? Did you hear about that? That Google is coming to El Salvador? Yeah, you you uh told something yesterday and I was looking on the news, uh, but I didn't find so much because I don't like uh check on the uh, on the media, as, as just on the on the newspaper, so I didn't find that much. Um. Yeah. Um. The president signed the contract, and Google is going to be based here, part of Google, Google Cloud. Mm -hmm. They're going to come and put their plant here. So. Cool. Yeah, I I think it's, it's good an opportunity for people. So that's good for people and everything around, because um, let me tell you, like, I have a lot of family that lives in California. Mm -hmm. And during the 70s and 80s, they bought their house. When Google became big and they moved to Sunnyvale, I think. Como que se llama? City is. Um, Sun City. Something city where, where Google is because mm -hmm. you cannot imagine how the prices went up. Oh, for real? And everything like houses, apartments, renting. So if you had a house mm -hmm. and you bought it, I don't know, for $60,000, dollars you could actually sell your house for $300,000 because. <laughs> That's what happened here in uh, Santa Tecla with the people who owns houses um, on near uh, Condado Santa Rosa. That's exactly what happened. Oh, yeah? Why? Yeah, the, the houses here uh, used to cost like uh, 30000 uh, no. yeah, $30, or something like that. And now people are um, buying it on the 90, 100. Yes. Yeah. You know that um, 
now people are saying, man, California is too expensive. Yes. If if you are recently moving to California, it's because you're already late. <laughs> you know, imagine if you get a good job in Google and you have to move there. But the problem mm -hmm. is that rent is too high now because it's very demanding. Yeah, of course. So I imagine it's going to be similar here. <laughs> because we, I a lot of people, you know, I was talking today in my reunion and, and I have a lot of uh, co-workers. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of co-workers from all over the world, you know from Argentina, from Honduras, from Belize, and they all are asking me, hey, are they hiring now? Hey, that's so cool. Hey, I want to go there. Tell me, where do I go? And I said, wait, I don't know. <laughs> I said, the news is out there, but I don't know because, you know, people want to move here. So, that's good. yeah, the, the good thing is like, if they come here, then maybe more companies will come. Yeah, that's for sure. The economy will start to grow even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I saw what happened in California. And it's like, let's say San Jose. And then San Francisco, maybe it's one hour from San Jose by bus. Mm -hmm. So the majority of people who get a job in Google, they're going to live to San Francisco now. And they take a bus one hour every day because it's too expensive to live in San Jose now. Wow. Because there's so many jobs from Google that all the people that work there, the first people mm -hmm. that went to work there took all the houses or the restaurant or, or the apartments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would like to know, I would like to know where is it going to be because it's good to buy an apartment there, man. <laughs> you know, buy some land. Probably will be in San Salvador. I don't think they're going to anywhere else. I mean. Probably, but probably not because, you know, San Salvador is too big. It's too full now. And I imagine... I don't know what the plans of Google are. Maybe they want a big, big land because I don't know, but it's good to buy a house right there, you know, to buy some something right there. When they start to, to uh, with the, with the uh, buildings and everything, yes. it's time to go to look for some uh, properties. <laughs> yes. Or rent, rent a business, you know, rent, um, a space and have a business there and yeah. make and make the contract for 10 years. <laughs> you know, like La Uca, mm -hmm. La Uca, the majority of the houses near La Uca, they're rented to students. Oh, really? Yeah. There are houses near that area? I didn't know that. Yeah, La Uca, but the, the the part where you come in walking, La Peatonal, it's Antiguo Cuscatlan. Oh, right, right. So, you know, the majority of those houses, people, um, they, they, I don't know, they have built their house and every room, they rent the rooms. Mm -hmm a good business and that's that's a very good business because la uca will always be there yeah oh so, sounds like a plan <laughs> mm -hmm. i had a friend that she and the reason why i know this i had a friend she lived there and every time well she was my ex-girlfriend but every time i visited her mm -hmm. because she was from san miguel and um all her friends lived around like in the next house and in rooms mm -hmm. so and that was the uh beer how's it how does it call r and b people no b and b mm -hmm. I, I don't Air, remember, remember airbnb yeah that one is a lot way easier to rent and gain a lot of money as well because 
you can rent the the a, a room or apartment real expensive yes you know i was talking to um my cousin my cousin is uh he lives in france i think now mm -hmm. and he was telling me about the benefit he, he was he was in el salvador like for three months doing a research on bitcoin uh -huh. and he told me that it was great i mean the, the bitcoin is, is i hear many opinions you know oh no that's good that's bad blah, 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 blah. you know but it, he told me and it's true what he told me you see the problem was that people thought that bitcoin was going to give you money no uh -huh. bitcoin is it's an opportunity i remember 10 years ago 10 years ago i took a taxi pirata and the person he was a young man he was very nice and i was talking about taxi piratas you know like have you ever had problems he says well you know i work in a bank and I got fired after 10 years. So with the money they gave me, I bought this car. So I am working in as a taxi now. Oh, that's good. And the rest of the money I invested in Bitcoin. Now, this is 10 years ago. And I told him, you know what? What is, is that Bitcoin? He said, yes, that's. How do you know if it goes up and down? He says, oh, you can go to a web page and. He started explaining that to me. Uh -huh. And he told me, you should really invest in that. That's the future. I said, yeah, okay, yeah. In my mind, I'm, yeah, this guy's crazy. How much is one Bitcoin? He said, $125. And I said, so I can have $125 and maybe in two minutes, nothing? He says, yes, but that's never happened. I mean, it goes down maybe $1, $2 or cents. But it goes up and down, up and down. Do you know how much is a Bitcoin now? Oh, like, I don't uh, remember, but it's, it's really high. It's like twenty two to twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> so I remember this taxi driver. <clears throat> he invested and he bought five bitcoins. Ojalá si yo invertiendo, but he really believed in that. Hopefully. So what happens is, imagine all the people in the world that had Bitcoin, that believe in Bitcoin. Now, many are billionaires or millionaires. But what this is what my cousin told me. So imagine I have $1 million dollars. And I want to use my million dollars in the United States. Oh. United States will take 30 or 35% for in tax, taxes, taxes oh. and the conversion. Oh. And I said, why do I have to pay conversion? It's just an excuse. So they take your money. So, but, you know, they were angry. So no, but the same thing happens in Europe. Uh -huh. same. Now I am a billionaire because I believe in Bitcoin and I want to invest, I invest in companies. But every time I want to invest in companies, they want to charge me extra because I have Bitcoin. Really? Also, also the, the taxes, so late, that I have to pay, but I have to pay an additional tax because of the conversion. So many Bitcoin owners got angry. But then he, here comes El Salvador. And El Salvador says, hey, you know what? Bitcoin will be a currency in my country. Oh, and, no, I guess you don't, have, you don't have to pay that extra exactly, tax. Exactly. So then here oh. come. now I am a billionaire. And I said, hey, I can invest in El Salvador. Where is El Salvador? What is El Salvador? <laughs> stuff like that you know so um, so i think the idea of the government was that to bring investors 
not not to people get richer, you know. And when you go, I don't know if you have been to San Benito recently. No, not that recently. I mean, I work nearby, but I, I don't see it that much. San Benito is becoming like a little New York. <laughs> Many buildings, huh? buildings, apartment buildings. Hasta really? sky, skyscrapers. Yes. I mean, you see, my uncle, my uncle bought an apartment because mm -hmm. he's going to, he retired. He's going to come and live to El Salvador. You know, he bought an apartment y ni siquiera han hecho el primer piso del edificio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they are all already sold. And, and in front of that building, there's another building, another, like, so you ask, where is this inversion coming from? Who is in, <laughs> yeah, who is investing in all these projects? That's it. Imagine eight. Hey, so I think it was good. When, when, when my cousin explained it to me like that, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's why there's many hotels in the beach. I mean, new hotels, new houses. You see a lot of investments. So anyways, for normal people like us, what is the benefit? Maybe not, but it, you know, whether wherever there's an investment, they need people to work. So maybe there I use that a benefit. Yeah. Because right now in that building where my uncle bought the house, they have 600 people working, making that building. So it's a win-win. Yeah. But then, you know, people say, sí, pero pagan mal. oh, God. You know, but it's 600 people that have a job, man. <laughs> people is always complaining about everything. Come on. And Even it, if they want a lot of money, they always going to find some way to yeah. bitching about it. <laughs> yes. You know, so, and imagine six, five or 600 employees. Imagine when they finish the building, Maybe 150 employees stay permanently because they knew they do need maintenance. maintenance. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because like what it, what it was funny because my, my uncle told me, hey, David, when you go, can you please pass and take a vi uh, make a video or I want to see the progress, the, uh, the progress of the building. I'm like, OK, good. So when I went. They were making the parking lot. I mean, the the bottom part. So that building <laughs> is going. I said, oh, man, Dio, I really hope you get to see your house before you die. Cool. <laughs> no, but my, my, my uncle is funny. And you see the buildings in front and then hasta skyscrapers. I got. You know what a skyscraper is? No. Yeah. So, Skyscrapers are the very, very big buildings. Rascacielos. Rascacielos. Oh, sky what? Scraper. All right. Good. So, uh, so that that was one very good thing about Bitcoin people. So. So one day somebody asked me if you can if you can go back in time what would you do and i said i would go back and buy a lot a lot of bitcoins let me tell you a story about that yes long time ago i used to have a friend who was living on the dubai and they start to to use the bitcoins at that time mm -hmm. so one day he sent me some money I didn't know about uh, anything about this uh, Bitcoin thing, so I so, I do I'm wherever sorry. I don't. I, I, I'm sorry, he yeah. sent you money via Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't know how how um, all this stuff was working and everything, but I I do remember there was an office or something like that where they gave you um, like a credit card. Uh, that has the Bitcoin, but if you want to, you can exchange it for real money, right? Mm -hmm. So I was, I was trying to get the money and whatever. I don't care about the Bitcoin, so I took the money out of the account. Mm -hmm. 
But the thing that was there, uh, I I I left like uh, one or two bitcoins there because at the time was really cheap, was like in five dollars, ten dollars. I don't remember. It was really really cheap. A complete was at the bitcoin. Beginning. A yeah, it was at the beginning. So I left like a one or two, whatever. I lost the credit card, or that the card that they gave you and everything. And then years ago, uh, years uh, later, later, thank you. I realized they, they, they were really expensive. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And I don't remember nothing about it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so <laughs> that's life. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, you know what, class? Do you have a les mandan remesas? No. No. Oh. But I, I Chivo Wallet is a very good option. Yes. Because you don't pay commission. No, but if like if you ever have a family member send you money. Tell them to send you money through Chivo Wallet. And let, let me tell you why. My job, my job pays me in the United States. The bank, mm -hmm. the bank of my job is in New York. And, and they tell me, where do you want me to pay you? Tell me anything, I'll send the money to you. Because they send the money. But they don't pay the, the commissions or anything. So let's say if they send me $500 in one week, they send the $500, but I maybe receive $400 because of all the changes of the bank, you know, so get blah, 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 blah. Dang good. Yeah. So, and I was very angry one day because they only sent, I don't know, I they only paid me now, I wasn't angry with my job. I was angry with the banks because it was only like three days that they paid me, but it was like $150 for that week. Mm -hmm. uh, and I paid $50 in commission to the banks. And I said, why? I, I went to the bank and they said, oh, yeah, because el banco cobra por recibir y por dar. Imagine that they 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 charge me money just because they received it. Yeah, that's how they mo make money. <laughs> so nothing is for free. Yeah. So what I did is I called my job and I said, "Hey, can you deposit in an American account?" He said, yeah. I have my brother. Can you deposit to his account? Yes. Give me his name and his account. Okay, so this is his name. This is his account. And I told my brother, okay, they're going to deposit every Friday, okay? And I received the email when it's deposited. I called my brother. Hey, can you check? Okay, good. Immediately, in one in one minute, he sends me the money to Chivo Wallet. Mm -hmm. And in Chivo Wallet, okay. you, you can keep it Bitcoin or dollar. So you don't lose. Mm -hmm. so, I go to the. Yeah, that's good. You don't have to pay more fifty dollars for. I pay one hundred and fifty. Did you say? Yes. <laughs> so oh I God. I pay nothing. I pay no commission. I just go to the Chivo Wallet and take out my money. So, there's ATM of Chivo Wallet. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's in San Jacinto. There's like three or four in Metro Centro, Metro Sur. There's everywhere. Salvador del Mundo. Mm -hmm. Cool. So now that I use Chivo Wallet a lot, I tell people, no, oh, man, the only Because sometimes when they use Zoom or something, like I think um, if somebody sends you from $1 to $99, it's only $6 commission. From one hundred dollars to three hundred dollars is like fifteen dollars commission. I go see the commissions, right? And when I tell my friends, no, they get the a bit a chivo wallet. You pay nothing. 
No, pero es que esa cuenta... No, ok, forget it. Dale. <risa> mm -hmm. Aunque perdás un dólar en Chivo Wallet. Let's say... I mean, no, it's only less than one dollar. Ajá, uh -huh. you won't pay fifteen dollars commission. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. And sometimes it's good to have um, Bitcoin. <laughs> Because, you know, one time I had $5 in Bitcoin. $5. And I had it for a long time. And then suddenly I see, hey, $7. <laughs> so in the supermarket, I told them, can I pay with Bitcoin? Yeah. Hey, so I paid $7. <laughs> hey, those are $2. You know, I... Se pagué el resto de seven dollars for my Bitcoin. So imagine if I had fifty dollars, it would have been what twenty dollars. I, I don't know. Hmm. Hey, my portal is not opening. Is your portal opening? Let me check. Oh, there it is. Now it opens. Okay, now it's open. Here, let me share. But I'm I'm happy that you're better now, Susan. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Eh, los rechazos más tontos de la historia, I think. Eh, Google creo que le ofreció a, a Yahoo dot com mm -hmm. de los servicios yeah. uh -huh. como hey comprenlos give us I, I don't know it was very like like a hundred million dollars something like that a little amount yes and then Yahoo said no We don't want. He said with Blockbuster and Netflix, net same thing, same story. Oh yeah, Blockbuster and Netflix, and now they're trillions of dollars. And you know, there's a a Blockbuster store still in, I think it's in California. I don't remember where, but it's in the states. Yeah, in Alaska, I think. <laughs> there's a Blockbuster. <laughs> My friend, I had a friend, he worked in Blockbuster here in El Salvador. Uh -huh. <laughs> And he told me de los peores clientes que tenía era el Mágico González. <laughs> Debía como 100 películas. <laughs> like he rented, oh nunca la iba a dejar. <laughs> he thought maybe he was buying them. <laughs> Or he lost them, maybe. <laughs> That could be. <laughs> So listen, yesterday we were we were talking about buy endurance, right? Yeah. Remember? Buy and using a gerund. Yes. By going. Um, I remember uh Irma told me that my friend died of cirrhosis, and maybe my friend got cirrhosis by drinking too much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me share. Okay, do you see the lady? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Those glasses, yes. those glasses look like she's going to swim. <laughs> She looks a little <laughs> crazy with that smile. Yeah. So this is what, what we did, remember? So by and gerund, the three uses, to say how something can be done. How something can be done. Oh, so look, number one and three is the same. And number two is how something was done. So, let's say how something can be done. Joanna. Tell me, teacher. 
Hi. Remember, we're using by and gerund, okay? By and gerund. Yes, I, wa I want to speak French. What can I do? How, how can I learn French? Um, I don't like it. I don't like a French language. Okay, but that's not my question. Listen to my question. You have to understand the question first. I said, Joanna, I want to learn French. What, oh. how can I practice French? How can I practice French? Yes. I'm not saying you practice. I want to practice. How can I practice French? Mm, I don't understand teacher. Okay, I will. Okay, look at this scenario. And I said, Joanna, I need, I was like, not you, not you, me. Joanna, I need to practice French. Oh. What can I do? Oh, you... You can get at, uh, the classes, the okay. French class. Remember, we're using by and gerund. Um, mm. Joanna, hágame usted la pregunta que yo le hice. How, mm -hmm. how I can. How can I? How can I? Uh, how can I learn French? Okay. Oh, you want to learn French? Okay, that's no problem. You can start by taking French classes. Did you hear my answer? Very simple. You can start by taking french classes by taking french classes yes classes. because because that's what we're doing by and gerund right mm. do you understand joanna a little teacher okay los usos de by con gerundio we need to understand by and gerund ¿Cuáles son los usos? Number one, to say how something can be done. ¿Cómo se puede hacer algo? En este caso, Joana quería aprender francés. Entonces le digo, bueno, puedo empezar con tomar clases. You can start by taking French classes. Do you understand, Joanna? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I, I muchas respuestas más pueden decir, oh, you should go. You you need to you need to you know. But in this case, by and gerund. Okay, um, Laura. Hi, teacher. Hi, Laura Alejandra Beatriz Guzmán Figueroa. You know, Hi, como no sabía que estaba, pensé que era en Laura Gabriela. <laughs> But okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, it's I'm okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Alejandra Beatriz, listen. I have a problem. Okay. I need to stop drinking. Example class, okay? No, no. <laughs> 
Don't, don't think different. So, uh, Alejandra, <laughs> Beatriz, I need to stop drinking. What What can I do? Um, what should I do first? You need to start by searching um, groups, help groups. Very good. Know. Awesome. Very good answer. Yeah. You need to start by going to groups, looking for groups. Double A. Very good. Thank you. Good answer. Okay. Now, La Laura Gabriela. Yes, teacher. I have a problem. What's your problem? I forgot my wife's birthday. <laughs> you are dying. Hey, no, but this problem is true. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday. What? No, yesterday I went because I needed to take out um the um the, my my wedding certificate in like Aldea. Yeah. And I was worried because this is the first time I take out a certificate for my wedding, the certificado matrimonio. And I was worried when I was in line because they said, he, y si me preguntan la fecha. And I said, oh my God, when did I get married? So I start looking at Facebook, you know. And, um, <laughs> yes, because imagine if I call my wife, hey, baby, mira. <laughs> like, what a shame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was, that was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> and it's a uh, big sin. That was my last resource, and I think my wife she tricked me because in the morning she told me, "Remember to go take out the certificate." Oh yeah, claro. And she says, "You remember our wedding date, right?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then oh my god, <laughs> but no, you know. It, it was very easy. They didn't ask me, but I thought they were going to ask me. So, <laughs> so they told me, what is your name? Oh, David Baltrans. And what is your wife's name? Oh, okay, good. Here, boom. You know, I, I, and I said, really? I see that fácil. I said, oh my God, señora, me acaba de sacar usted de, de un gran lío. I was, I was <laughs> very nervous. No, but um, I, I saw the date on, on, I went back to my Facebook and I started watching my, my, when I got married, pero solo tenía la civil, no, no de la religiosa. But so I, so imagine in this scenario, I said, Laura, I have a problem. I forgot my wife's birthday. What should I do? How can how can I search her birthday? Maybe you can uh, solve this problem by organizing a secret party so yes that's what i want to do but the problem is i forgot the date yes but in the party you're going to tell her that you didn't say it's something that the 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 day because you was you you were you was preparing the party Okay. Yeah, but I think she'll kill me. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what, what is another option that you can think of? Class? That, okay, that was a good one. So after my experience yesterday, if somebody asks me, hey, what do I do if I forget my my birthday or my wife's birthday or the wedding and i said look you can start by taking a picture and send it to your cloud but you already had the the, the certificate <laughs> yeah. but if you <laughs> no 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 if somebody like if somebody calls me with that situation mm -hmm. oh okay i said oh you know what you can start I would start by going on Facebook and see 
and and start and but start. If, mm -hmm. But if the person is someone like me that I don't have uh, Facebook, what do you do in that case? <laughs> I would start by calling her her mother <laughs> and say, "Hi, Suegra. Mire, I'm driving. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you tell me what date?" What day is my uh Claudia's birthday? Because <laughs> I, I, I need I am planning a secret party. And she will tell me, Perate, perate, I'm on again, September 19. Cae miércoles, hijo. Oh, okay, good. But I heard 19th. <laughs> <laughs> There are many tricks. <laughs> All right, very good. No, but I do. I I don't know any birthdays, or or I am very very bad with. Dates. Teacher, I yes. have a question. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If I say, I learned to cook by washing my grandmother, is correct. If I of say course, that. of course, oh. be because look at the three at the three uses of by and gerund to say how something can be done. So you told mm -hmm. us how something can be done. You can you can actually learn to cook by watching your grandmother. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Because I had that doubt uh, if I have to say sin. But I, because I remember the, the song, I'll be watching you. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh yeah, yeah the police. The, po the police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, my my question. And you know that song is not romantic. Do you know that that is not a romantic song? It's not a romantic song. No, it's a stalker no. song. Oh. <laughs> so it, yeah, Sting Sting said it. He said it's not a romantic song. I am actually stalking a woman. I stuck. <laughs> St stalking. Clavado. <laughs> uh huh. Because every breath you take, every move you, I'll be watching you. Oh, obsession. Yes. <laughs> okay, no, now. Love. Yes. Now let's. Okay, so now you understand how something can be done. So Joanna told me, how can I speak? Guess how something can be done. Como se puede hacer algo, right? So I asked Joanna, how can I speak French? She says, well, you can start by going to. French classes. I told Alejandra, can you give me an example? I need to stop drinking. I need help. And she says, you should start by looking for programs. Yes. I asked uh, Laura, Laura, I lost her. Oh, there she is. Uh, how can I, what can I do so I can, I forgot my, my, my anniversary and, and that's all. you should start by planning a secret party <laughs> that was good now let's see how something was done how something was done so obviously now we're speaking in past Susana, I remember you told me something very interested. How did you learn English? Because you told me you never studied, correct? Yeah, I learned English by uh, traveling to right. Europe. Okay, good. So you see that? How did she learn English? She learned by traveling. Yes? Mm hmm that's uh, the example who who was she? Irma Gaves was kind of like that, right? She learned uh, to cook uh, by watching someone. I, I don't remember. Grandmother. <laughs> Grandmother. Yeah. Do you know how uh, how buffalo guess. how buffalo wings were invented? No. They were invented by a woman by 
a mother being very creative. Creative. Why? Um, so, ¿cómo fue posible los buffalo wings? By being very creative. It was a mother. She was black. She was a black mother in that time, you know, when black people were very, um, they were, no esclavo, pero they were very, um, in the 50s, in the 60s, they were very discriminated. Segregated. Segregated, yes. Yeah. So there was a mother. You know, like in El Salvador, las patas de pollo, nadie se las come, los pies, right? Well, I mean, there are people that do, but ugh, they're nasty. Oh, wuchi. So in the United States, people don't eat patas or wings, the, the feet mm -hmm. and the wings. Of uh, You know, that was like the leftovers. like uh. So this woman, she was very poor, and all she could afford was buying wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh. Because so they were basically free. Las daban por no botarlas. They sold them, you know. So by being very creative, because her children, she said her children cried, no, no more, you know, you know. So she started making wings different every time. And that's how she started inventing the buffalo wings. Buffalo is a city. Mm -hmm. And so she's from Buffalo. Yes. La única regada es que no lo patentó, pobrecito. Sí, aquí vas a ver. Me quitaron la idea. Yeah. So that's how Buffalo Wings were invented by a, being a very creative mother for the necessity she had. And now, guess what? Now wings are very expensive. Mm. How you much think? are the, wow? How much are the buffalo wings in, in in buffalo wings? Like six wings for eight dollars. What? Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yes. Yes or no? Yeah, there's one in Gran Vía. Yeah, if you go to Buffalo Wings, well, anywhere, también hay hay bastantes now. BW Buffaloes. A buff or don't even alitas flying hot alitas, but that's that's the price range. Like they give you six for eight nine dollars. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, Don Pollo vende eso las mollejas. I you good. They're very good. I like them. <laughs> I don't like this era. Oh, <laughs> I I love ubre. You no. You know what I I used to like? It was a uh, brain. It was good. What? Taco. Yeah, the brain. Taco oh, brain. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, now we're talking about food again, and I'm getting hungry. Man, I always get hungry. <laughs> so now you understand how to use by and gerund, correct? Now, one thing, the story I told you about buffalo wings, that's not the only answer. You could say my answer was buffalo wings were invented by being creative. But you can also say buffalo wings were what you, you can say that just a normal answer. Oh, the buffalo buffalo wings were created because there was a mother who was very poor. I mean, there's many different ways to answering, but right now we were just focusing on by and gerund. Yo uso bastante eso. People tell me, teacher, teacher, how can I practice my fluency? And I tell them by reading books. By reading books for children.
¿Saben qué? Lean, do you know Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Yeah, you should read Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. I don't remember some story about an elephant and a flower. Yes, um, Dr. Seuss, he only made books for children. But he was so good that even the United States government lo tiene como tesoro nacional or something. <laughs> Because um, he plays with words. There's a book from, bueno, The Cat in the Hat. Did you see the movie The Cat in the Hat? No. No. But you heard, ya han oído, The Cat in the Hat? Yeah. Okay, that's a very famous book. From Dr. Seuss. And why is famous? Hay uno que me encanta de se llama Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs, of course, they don't exist, but he likes to play with words. For example, if you read, he says, Sam I am, and I like green eggs and ham. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Everything is written. Yes, and many children learn to read or to pronounce with Dr. Seuss. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So when people ask me, teacher, ¿cómo puedo pronunciar? ¿Cómo puedo mejorar mi fluency? I say, oh, by reading. By reading short sentences. At Uka Bookstore, there are a lot of children uh, books a hey, good publicity yeah <laughs> do, do you know the difference between publicity and propaganda uh it's not the same thing it is but it is the same thing but there's a different purpose oh can you uh, could you tell me what is the difference or the yes propaganda is only for politics and religion oh oh so publicity is for the rest for the rest like right now you gave publicity to your job <laughs> no it was good but imagine you said oh you know with the president Nayib Bukele he gives books to every children blah, blah. that's propaganda Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but that, that's do the... you remember? Hmm? Do you remember when when Najib uh, played Dragon Ball Z in the city? Do you remember? He played. I know. I don't. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't uh, notice. I remember he was in a skateboard. But um, I remember that. Oh, wait, when he played the movie. Yes, yes, yes. The, the God battle. Mm -hmm. battle. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I remember. A, in a in a big screen. I I don't know if it was in the Salvador del Mundo. Yes, it was in the Salvador del Mundo. Yes. Ah, it was really nice to see, <laughs> to watch. Oh, you went? I just watched the video. <laughs> Oh okay. I could I could not be there. Yeah. So y, y saben que yo oigo ese ese error error seguido en 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 disque cosas profesionales. Like I'm listening to the radio and um for example I in the morning I listen to La Tribu. Y dicen, "Ah, ¿qué tal tu fin de semana?" Bueno, pues mira, comí bien rico, fíjate que ya has probado los desayunos de Subway. So, hey, no le des propaganda a Subway. Mejor no digas el nombre. But, bromean, right? Pero, uh -huh. hey, that's not correct. That's not propaganda. Sería, hey, no le des publicidad a Subway. So, you understand the difference? Propaganda is only for religion yeah. or politics. Yeah. Now yeah. I, I, I understand the difference okay awesome so now you understand how uh buy and gerund is it's very common a lot of people a lot of people 
a lot of people um use this. All right. It, for example, if I want to do and or create a habit, a habit, and mm -hmm. you can start by programming exactly a, a day, an hour, a, an hour, sorry, to do something. Yes. You know, I had a friend, I remember when I was uh, younger, I had a friend that he had a girlfriend, and in three days, he wanted to marry her. Wow. And I said, hey, man, you should start by getting to know her first. Yeah. Remember, the first three months are, are fake. <laughs> because the first three months, you will be the perfect boyfriend, and she will be the perfect girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without watch the dark side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he says, you're crazy. No, mira, yo, yo iba a la iglesia con mi novia, con mi esposa. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. to give, just to have points with her. <laughs> yes, we were dating. But, you know, I always told my friends, like, <laughs> like, shh, don't say anything. Oh. Okay, they see me like on Sunday dressed nicely. <laughs> hey, hey, where did you go? Where fue la iglesia? Ah, <laughs> no, yeah, sabe, no, <laughs> no, but <laughs> le ando cayendo, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I went to watch Sex in the City with her to the movies. Can you imagine that suffering? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, después ya uno ya cuando siente confianza, you just say no. I really went to only for be with you. Yeah, that's like uh, last month she told me, Mira, no, que vamos a ver Barbie. No, you're crazy. <laughs> uh -huh. Pero antes ibas con el cine conmigo, pues sí, pero estamos casados. ¿no? <laughs> oh, you are mean. <laughs> no, no, but I, I do it to play with her. Then she gets angry. <laughs> yeah. No, but going to the movies is very expensive now. I <laughs> don't be a stingy. <laughs> no, but really, look, look, if you go on a perfect date, like you go to the movies with your date and you ask for soda, popcorns, and hot dogs, minimum is $40. <laughs> yes. When I go to with my daughter, it's always like forty bucks. Yes, five bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except when I go um Wednesday. Wednesday is a uh, is the cheapest day. Is it still two for one? Yeah, and is if you have a car, it's way more uh uh cheaper. Oh, I didn't know it was still two for one. Nice. Yes. I downloaded my movie, so. <laughs> yeah. I live ahead, Barbie. So they but but <laughs> but I did watch it with her. So you did watch it. Yeah. <laughs> well, she thought she thinks I watched it, but yeah. I, have you seen yeah, Barbie? <laughs> have you seen Barbie? No. Yes. Yes. No. I, I really think Barbie. quien se robó esa película fue Ryan Gosling and Ken. <laughs> well, I, in I my didn't opinion, like no. In my opinion, I mean, I didn't like the movie, no. But maybe he made Ken made the movie interesting. He was funny. Really? Yes. He was stupid. He was funny, but I'm. I didn't like Ken. No, I mean I I didn't like Ken either. But I mean he was like the only <laughs> different character in. Yeah. Mm. And everybody thought that was a movie for children. For children. No, no. I I just watched no. a couple of trial yeah. trailers, and it yeah. wasn't for kids. No, maybe it can be for kids, but it really is more for adults. It doesn't have any sex or anything, but 
it's, it's no, not, but I mean, there's the say a lot language, of things that, <laughs> the language that they used. Yes, but it, it's I think it's more nostalgia for women that had Barbies. I had. Six, I used to have Barbies, but that is not Barbie. <laughs> I used to play with Barbies, but my well, I used to play with my sister's Barbies, but she never knew because they were the girlfriends of my toys. <laughs> your G.I. Joes. Exactly. G. Joe. And it was funny because my G.I. Joes were very small and the I Barbies were, G. Joe. they used to kiss and everything. <laughs> and my sister always got angry. Because, Where are my Barbies? And so, <laughs> with you. They are with their men. <laughs> and, she, <Action> men. <laughs> and she told me, if you touch my Barbies again, I will tell all your friends that you play with Barbies. <laughs> and <laughs> nostalgia. Okay, so uh bye. Try try using that. Bye, Jaren. Bye, Jaren. Like, oh man, uh it's impossible. The traffic in the morning. I I am always late. Even if I go ten minutes before, I am always late. Oh, you should, you should try by by taking another route. Another a different route. Or you should try by checking ways first before you leave. Ways up. No, ways, the maps. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and, and that's true. You know, every time you, you, you're going to go somewhere, I would recommend you check ways porque le tira the, the traffic. Hmm. Pero nada sirve porque todo está rojo. <laughs> Toda la calle es en El Salvador. There's traffic everywhere, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Um. all right, class, so Next week, we will finish this last lesson, lesson four. All right? All right. And I hope you have, you can improve your accent by, here, let's finish this real quick. You can improve your accent by. By. Practicing. By watching American movies. Okay, so I would say by practicing in your English class, watching American movies, they they're all they're all good. By doing translation exercising is very good too. Bye. Hey, cuando uno es intérprete hasta mejora su español. As you imagine. Yeah, because you. Me podría repetir la respuesta, por favor. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's by talking to native English speakers. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. talking to native English speakers, yeah. Yeah, it makes more sense. Okay. A good way to learn idioms is? Uh, for me, it's by talking to native English speakers. That's true. It's or like also that. by watching American. Do you know what an idiom is? Yes. This is pressure. Yeah, it's like in Salvador we say, hey man, tranquilo, al suave, al suave. Al suave, suave. <laughs> yeah. So if you can't say that in English, hey, to the soft, to the soft. No. <laughs> you can't, right? So what is that? Oh, I'm going to say, hey, I'm sorry. Um, oh, al suave, no. al suave is an item. Mm -hmm. O sea, pocas palabras en un caliche formal. It's an item. So there is no literal. Translation, so I an interpretation. All right. So uh, the way to learn idioms is by watching American movies is one. Mm -hmm. Also by talking to native speakers. I mean, so I there, there's a lot of okay. there's a lot of ways. There's a lot of possible answers. So mm -hmm. students can become better writers by. Uh, so. By okay. This exercise is very old. This doesn't exist anymore. Do you know what a pen pal is? What? 
What did you no idea. A pen pal is sometimes you had a friend in another part of the world that you don't know, and you would write mm. letters. Oh, that will be good. Yeah, you know, you write letters. I, I had a pen pal. She was from Nigeria, I think. You know, hi, hi. And we, we, we were in constant communication. I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, you just sent from letters. Canada. You had a pen pal from Canada? Yeah, but I didn't know that it was a pen pal. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's what a pen pal is. But that doesn't exist anymore because now everything is like... People don't like to write anymore. We tell us emojis. I. You can have a complete conversation with emojis. <laughs> okay, next. A good way to learn new vocabulary is... By studying a learner's dictionary. By studying a learner's dictionary. Learn dictionary. I agree. That, by watching American movies, that. by practicing in your English class, by talking to native speakers, they're all good. They're all possible. People can become fast readers. By reading magazines. By reading magazines. This is, this is, okay. this one I am sure is going to be correct. <laughs> 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 no, this I don't know. One way of practicing conversation is by role playing with a partner. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Role play. Seven. You can learn to use grammar correctly by by practicing in your English class. Okay, by practicing your English class. The best way to develop self-confidence in English is? By practicing in your English class. That was, <laughs> hmm. Watch, let me see which ones are wrong. <laughs> Mine was wrong. <laughs> Let's see what was the right one. Yeah. Seven is by doing translation exercise. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know how translation is good with grammar. Yeah, I would I, I would have gotten that one wrong too. And that's the only one we got wrong. Oh no. Memorize. A good way to learn idioms is by talking to my talking to native speakers as well. Yeah. But that's the same thing like watching American movies. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Pero miren, hay una diferencia de items a caliche, slang. Also, items son frases, they're phrases. Like, um, en español, a César lo que es de César. Uh -huh. Es formal, es un dicho. But in English, you can say, to Caesar, what is to Caesar? Like, for example, in English, there's a saying that you say, when in Greece, do as Greeks do. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one, too. It's not my cup of tea. It's como, no de mi grado. Oh, hmm. uh -huh. really? Yeah. Hay otro bien famoso ese. In Greece, hey, when you're in Greece, do as Greek do. Bueno, y nadie ni termina, do as Greek do. La gente dice, hey, when you're in Greece, cuando estás en Grecia, haz lo que hacen los griegos. ¿Qué, qué entienden por eso? I do. Hey, si you have to behave the same way there are people around you. Is... Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine you go to church. Yes, if you go to church and you want to go in a mini skirt y tacones and all this and your mother says you can't. Why? <laughs> Porque la, because, o sea, I understand that, but please, just respect. In church, in the church, people dress formal. You know? So when you're in Greece, do what Greeks do. Mm. Aunque te gusta no, you know, hey, when you're in Greece, do what Greeks do. Oh, I I understand 
<laughs> Example, el estadio Cujatlán con la hueva la selecta. Sol. Si usted le cae agua en la espalda. Si está helada, be happy. Si está caliente, no vuelva a ver ni se enoje. Porque le va a caer más aguas calientes, orinas. Uh. Ya. Yeah. Uh, a mí hasta en la cara me cayeron, man. Ay, no, qué perro. Yeah. <risa> Porque cuando te caen al de, la par, al de la par de uno, lo chispa de la cara. Like, oh, oh no. No. Yeah. Oh. You know, and, 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 you know, and, and, you know, si alguien se para, hey, ¿qué fue? Hey, don't. Don't, don't, así es las cosas acá. No, but, uh, hey man, that's how it is. When you're in Greece, do what Greeks do. <laughs> you. Yeah. Estás en Grecia, papá, hacer lo que hacen los griegos. <laughs> ¿Y qué okay. hacen? Socala. So next time you go, entonces aprende a sentarte arriba, no abajo. You know. So that's an expression. So that's an idiom. Sí, pero Ahora, la en es caliche, todo como la like, eh, El caliche sí es horrible porque hay muchos. Hay caliche latino, hay caliche de negros, hay caliche de todo. Como, hey, come on, dog. Eso no es un idiom. <laughs> Eso es caliche. Oh. Mm. Como en español, ¿qué onda, perro? <laughs> you know, people say that. ¿Qué onda, mi perro? You know, that's, that, eso no son expresiones idiomáticas, eso es caliche, calle. Calle, pero elegante. <laughs> yes. Oh, bueno. Okay. All right, class, have a very nice weekend, okay? I'll see you Monday. <laughs> see you. See you Monday. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.